I'm going to, I'm going to try this one. Um, I like this one. This is different, kind of out of the, you know, thinking outside the box there. These wallpaper border rolls were 90 cents each at the thrift store. One was opened, sold all for best offer of $75. Look for unusual wallpaper border rolls, especially with interesting themes or popular subject matter. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Watching. All right, this is part three of the May bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I posted this in the Facebook group, share your best May bolo, and you guys delivered over a hundred bolo items. So this is three parts this month. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Um, big money bolos and unexpected bolos coming your way. Some of these are going to be shocking. They're going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. The first item paid $5.99 at a local thrift store. I found it in the men's long sleeve shirt section, and it's a woman's shirt dress. Listed it for $175 and took an offer of $135 plus shipping. Probably could have held out for more, but I was okay with the offer. I think it was only listed for one or two days. It is a Frank and Eileen women's Mary Famous denim shirt dress, $135. That is fantastic. Uh, we found this book in a storage unit. We purchased, we paid $60 for the entire unit. I took an offer of $185 plus shipping. I was amazed and excited to have my first sale over $100. Happy hunting. We love your channel. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the feedback. Um, it says, ooh, um, Sono Mama, Sono Mama fashion in the Japanese countryside. How cool is that? That is interesting. One of my many planes I've sold at this price and higher from an appointment only estate sale. This one comes from MSG's Treasures. Here is his YouTube channel. He is a bolo finder. Go sub him up. This one, he said, I spent 3K on three separate days and bought dozens and dozens of this aircraft. One person bought 10 die cast tanks from me over for over two grand, and I featured those in another video. Paid on average $10 per plane and tank, plus bought bronze statues and some artwork. This one right here is a Franklin Mint Wildcat Red Rippers USS Ranger, and it sold for $104.99. I got this in an estate sale for a dollar. I listed it high at $84.99 and accepted $45.77. I don't usually go that low with offers, but I was feeling generous that day. The buyer was thrilled with his purchase. So I love the best offer option because if there's a day when sales are slow... Sometimes I'm a little bit more like, yes, I'll take your offer. So that may have been what happened here. But it is a vintage uh, Persol, P-E-R-S-O-L, sunglasses, eyeglass case only. These wallpaper border rolls were 90 cents each at the thrift store. One was opened, sold all for best offer of $75. Look for unusual wallpaper border rolls, especially with interesting themes or popular subject matter. I'm going to, I'm going to try this one. Um, I like this one. This is different, kind of out of the, you know, thinking outside the box there. Bought for 60 on Facebook Marketplace, local pickup, sold on Etsy for $699 plus 97 shipping, all in for 827 This is a handmade, handmade, a handmade 1940s antique vintage dollhouse and it's folk art. It is amazing. Um, this one was sold by B Carried Away. That is her YouTube channel. She is amazing. Go sub her up. Um, you will be so happy that you did. She does a lot of vintage clothing, and she is a very uh, well-rounded reseller. She sells in a lot of categories and very good with keywords and super knowledgeable. Bought this doll at the end of an estate sale. Purchased in a lot, so I figured I paid a dollar. Eloise Wilkins, Vogue doll, two deer, 1963. Listed on auction or buy it now. Sold for buy it now within 10 minutes of listing for asking price. 300 plus shipping of 59.15. So, wow. Wow. That's, that's crazy. I mean, I, I just, I look at that and I think I probably would have walked past it. I feel like dolls are just so 
so tricky because so many are bread and butter, but there are some that are just high dollar. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about dolls. Would you have walked past that doll or would you have picked it up? Found in a free box on the side of the road. Uh, sold it for 15 all in vintage Coleman four pack gold top. So gotta love this Coleman tie style mantle four pack gold top. I'm not even sure what this is, but it was in the free box and it looks interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna look for it everybody so if you've ever found this item first off tell me what it is and second was did your item sell quickly all right got this adult simba plush okay this is fantastic okay fantastic simba plush adult simba plush five dollars at a garage sale in new york sold for one thousand fifty dollars plus 250 shipping. It's a rare 1998 Douglas Cuddle Toys Lion King Adult Simba plush. It is a promo. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. And I know she posted in the group and she got a little bit of a hard time on this item. So I am so happy that she was able to come back and say, look what I sold it for. Like, told ya. Love it. It's awesome. Uh, garbage gold Elvis sold for $60 was supposed to go to Los Angeles post office lost. It was last seen in Tennessee claim filed. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, it's an Elvis collectible historical magazine bought these at the Goodwill for a dollar and they sold it in about 24 hours for full asking price of 75. They had a few scuffs, but nothing major certain Y2K styles fly off the shelves that Y2K um, style, um, those seem to be trending right now. I'm guessing that's just anything vintage from the 90s. Is that what they're calling Y2K? If anybody can tell me and clarify that for us, um, seems to be on clothing and shoes and stuff like that. So I feel like I remember these shoes. <laughs> that's so funny. They're chunky platform sandals. It's by Steve Madden. <laughs> 75 bucks. That's incredible. Uh, I mean incredible sold on Poshmark so Poshmark might be the place for some of those things all right let's see here I thought I'd never sell this jacket but after 10 months it finally sold paid four dollars and 99 cents at an um, online auction paid uh played around with price and had zero interest I thought for sure would sell in winter but nope took a best offer of 49 plus shipping from 59. Lesson learned, not all suede or leather sells for big money, but I made a profit, so I'm definitely happy. This is uh, Live a Little Vintage Black Suede Leather Moto Jacket. So again, this is a great point. Um, she still made money. So I mean, $5 into 49. She just had to wait for it a little bit. And honestly, like I have tons of items that take over a year to sell. I just list it and forget it. I don't worry about how long something's listed. I've done the work. If I have the storage space for it, I just leave it listed. It eventually sells. So I still would have been very happy with those profits. Um, yeah. Do we all like the quick flips? Yeah, most definitely. But clothing, I mean, sometimes that stuff sits for a while. So um, this one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her eBay store. Got this at a local thrift store on one of their five for a dollar book sale. Bibles are slow sellers sometimes, but they usually always sell. This is a new Catholic edition of the Holy Bible, 1957. Catholic book illustrated box uh, with box, $34.99. All sales were on eBay. Almost all my May sales have been bolos. So hard to choose. So hard to choose. The vintage new old stock label printer was my mom's. Had it for over a year. Sold for $143.97. The lovey I just got last month for $2. Went to Australia and sold for $44. If you guys are not picking up these little lovey blankets, definitely pick them up. Most of them are bread and butter, but some of them can go in up to $100. I mean, they can... They can do really well. A lot of times they have condition issues, but they will still sell because people are looking for these items as replacements. Guess overalls. I snagged at the bin, sold for $95. Again, they're using the word Y2K. Guess overalls, $94.98 on those. And this Polo Raffler in Big Teddy Bear sold overnight, paid six and took a best offer of $35, it looks like. Um, anything with the bear, the skein, if it's vintage Ralph Lauren, Definitely 
can be big money. Some go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So definitely look those up, especially if they're vintage. All right. She said, my second wolf seven clad uh, pan sold, I'm sorry, sold, paid 12 for all three. Two have sold for me at about $100 each. Looks like this one sold for $89.97. So um, it's a three quart saucepan. She is a new Facebook member. I don't have her eBay store yet, but I am going to post it here once I have it and link it down below. Okay, the next one comes from In the Life of a Reseller, and she purchased this at an, I think I already did this one, but I'll go ahead and do it again because it was in a different video. Purchased at an auction for a dollar. It came with paper, calculators, books, and other office supplies, so average cost would be about 10 cents for this. The other items sold first. This sold within two months of listing, and they used my 10% discount. This was my first listing using the new eBay video to show it working. I think it's de a decent purchase. I do really well with vintage office supplies. I sell it consistently with the $85 for this, the 50 for the stapler, 100 for the dry erase markers and other odds and ends. This dollar purchase ended up grossing me over 300 in profit, about 250 net after fees and promotions, only because a few items went out as bundles. Ooh, I would have loved to have seen the dry erase markers. Um, I just did a video on um, arts and crafts. So that is coming in the near future, I've got a few videos ahead of it, so it might be next month, but stay tuned for that. Definitely subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't already, and thank you for being here, and we're going to continue with some more bolos. I had these curtain panels fabric on auction for 65 I had no bids and only two watchers and two, two days left on auction. Someone messaged me offering me 300 I ended the listing, or edited listing to add my buy it now of 300 and buyer bought and paid for before I could even message her back about updating the listing. Very generous. I threw in valances I hadn't listed yet for free. I got them in a fabric box lot from an estate auction for $5. Um, MCM 1952 Artist Doris Lee Curio Cabinet Fabric. 300 bucks. This was my doll I got as a child, so zero. I put her up for auction for 150 bucks, nine but got no bids, so relisted the doll at auction starting at $125 and added buy it now price of $215. There were no bids and about two days left on auction and someone paid the $215 buy it now price. I guess people don't feel like trying to win an auction and would rather pay up. Still surprised. Pleasant Company American Girl doll. Um, Pleasant Company are the vintage ones, the older ones. Kristen with box neat outfit. Bought for a dollar at a yard sale, posted at 7 a.m., and it sold by 3 p.m. the same day for full asking price. It is a Texas Wear Confetti Splatterware Melamine Bowl, 35 bucks on Mercari. Got this at a local online auction for 75 sold for full asking price of 179 and it went overseas to the U.K. It is a Mattel Barbie Ken Day 1950 reproduction favorite dolls from uh, 2009 sold for $179. Found this polo at Value Village for $3.25 sold for full asking price of $59.99. Donald Ross is a decent brand from the top 100 logo is what makes it more valuable. This is what it looks like. So Donald Ross men's large purple blue stripe polo nine or 1896 Marion Golf Club Top 100. So I guess the top 100 is what's important there. Found this Stony Clover Lane small zippered pouch at the Goodwill in the toy section for $1.99. Within, sold within an hour of listing for $85 and a ton of likes and questions as soon as I posted it. Stony Clover Lane. Hmm. Sold on Mercari. I don't know. May have been a good eBay uh, auction. Never heard of that. Can't I, I, this one is shocking. I love this one. Found this three-piece vintage CPK accessories on Facebook Marketplace for $25 and sold it for $150. I think those are like Cabbage Patch size. They look like they're teeny tiny, but I think they're not. Bought this 100% silk Christian Dior scarf from an estate sale for $3 and took a best offer of $90. And it's kind of hard to see in the screenshot, but this is what it looks like. All right. Rare IBM PC Music Feature Unpackaged Complete Music Card Breakout Box Disc, $2,835.96. Ah! 
Found this at an estate sale mixed in with some other computer hardware and software. There was no price marked on it, but after seeing the contents were sealed in their original packaging and it was IBM from 1987, I had to get it. Took it to the table to check out and they gave me a price of $5. Are you kidding me? Oh, I put it on eBay on a seven day auction and starting bid of 1200. Within 10 minutes, I was offered 1400. And that next morning I had a $1,500 offer. After seeing the high interest, I just decided to let it play out and glad I did. Wow. I bought these, oh, washer back. Washerbach? I don't know. This is what it looks like. Red Christmas at an estate sale for 45 They are um, dinner plates. Included 28 pieces, 8 dinner plates, 8 mugs, 12 salad plates. I put them on eBay in sets of 4 on May 27th. Sold first set of dinner plates for full price on the 28th. Buyer paid shipping. Hoping the others will go as quickly. Uh, $69 on those plus shipping. Had just done some research on costume jewelry, so I decided to look at the jewelry at a local flea market and was so excited to find this beautiful brooch. Paid $1.50 for it and didn't sell it in the first 10-day auction and decided to let it ride for another 10 and finally got a bid and sold for $100. I was so thrilled. It is a crown trafari gold tone leaves faux coral cabachonus flower brooch. Very cool. This one comes from... Uh, moderator. He's a moderator of this group, this Facebook group, and he is a bolo finder, but he is on so many platforms and he also does booths. So check his YouTube channel out, Franklin Hill Ventures, for content about his booths. And he's now on Whatnot. So follow him over there too, because he is bringing the deals to Whatnot. Franklin Hill Ventures. Sold three of these pairs of nor talkie dinner plates for 20 each for a total of 60 plus buyer paid shipping. Paid $2 a pair at a live auction. As part of the same sale, I also sold my last remaining pair of salad plates for 15 plus buyer paid shipping. Had one, $1 in a pair of those. So final tally was 75 for a $7 investment. And this is what they look like. Bought both on high bid auction for $22, sold in a couple weeks for $250. They are Glenn Lucan's yellow art glass bowl. And then there's another one that is blue in color. And this is what they look like. My sister is a movie buff. So the guy who worked at the theater would save the posters for her. She said I could sell them. So free to me. Sold Sorcerer poster for $88. And then a uh, Alvin Ally dance poster on Mercari for 90. Another Al, is it Ali? A-I-L-E-Y. Not sure how to say that. Sorry, guys. For 129 on Etsy. The Ali's were also free to me. I sold some others also. All free. So I only have a picture of this one right here. And it sold for $199.99. Dawn of the Dead movie poster. Original 1978. Bought at a swap meet for a couple bucks. Took a couple months to sell. Sold for best offer of $100 from, um, she had it listed at $250. This isn't a higher dollar Rushton, but certainly a good pickup. It's a Rushton rubber face chippy chipmunk squirrel. And Rushton, if you don't know, is a big money bolo. So anytime you see those rubber uh, faced plush, check if it's a Rushton. But most of them, even if they're not Rushton, can do pretty good. So um, check them out. All right. This one came, okay, this is a great story. So she reached out to me and she recently joined Bolo Buddies memberships because she does this with her sons and she wanted to have her Bolo featured and she wanted me to shout out her kids. So this is what your mama wrote and she is so proud of you guys. So super excited to be sharing this with everyone. What a great idea. And this is what they found. Are you ready? Where you got it? At the Goodwill. My reselling business has become our family business. I'm so thankful for my boys, Ryder 9 and Preston 7, who enjoy going thrifting with me. They help me with my shipping. We also love watching your videos and learning new things. Thanks to Courtney, they are always on the lookout for big money bolos, and my boys have found some of our best ones. I love this. This makes me so happy. What you paid for it. They paid $1.99 for it. I love reselling games and puzzles that we get for a dollar or two dollars and flip them for 15 and up. This being our best one yet. What it sold for if you took a best offer. 
There are there were several others listed for half the price, but I took my time with the photos and listed it and took two months to sell, but sold for full asking price of $84.99. So you guys, it's not always a race to the bottom. You don't always have to be the lowest listed. Um, again, great photos is definitely a plus. Vintage 1989 electronic talking battleship by Milton Bradley, 100% complete and works, $84.99. So boys, you did awesome. Let's see. Ryder and Preston, shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching. Keep those bolos coming. I look forward to seeing what else you guys are selling. All right. Sold my kitty kitty kitten um, that I found at a thrift store for $1.99. Glad I didn't pass on her as she looked pretty matted. Um, took her home and cleaned her up and she sold within a week. Uh, she sold it for $85. Um, so she sold this for $85 and it is the Calico Cat. And they have this thing in their head and if you shake it, it kind of sounds like they're purring. And it says kitty kitty kittens on the tag. It also said uh, there's puppy puppy puppies. And I recently was at a garage sale and it's going to be in some footage that I have. I felt it and it felt like one of these and I'm like, what on earth? And I feel like it's a farm animal. I have to do, I have to find it. <laughs> it's out with all my stuff from my haul last weekend. And on the tag, I think it was a farm animal. And I don't know if it said farm something, but I don't know if it's a bolo. So stay tuned. I'm hoping it is, but I don't know. But never seen one like it. So that's always a good sign. Never even heard about it. So that's another good sign. All right. Somebody put it, mine sounds more like a rattle, not a purr. It, it kind of sounds like a rattle. It doesn't, it, they call it a purr, but it, it does kind of sound like a rattle. <laughs> Somebody, and then they put, I, um, I would say it sounds more rattling sound than an actual purr. From what I researched, that's the purring sound they make. I think it's in the head because you have to move the head a certain way to get the sound. Yep. Paid $3 at a local charity th uh, thrift. Listed on eBay for eight months. Started out with a buy it now of $275. Recently dropped to $195. Took a best offer of $166 plus $70 shipping. The painting was very large, 53 by 29, but only weighed 15 pounds. I played with the measurements on Pirate Ship and discovered that if my box went over 54 inches long, shipping went from $34.56 to $100. I made, my, I made a box 54.30 by 3 from a large flattened Amazon box I had saved. So basically what they're saying is they cut the box down to try to get in the those dimensions, which is a great idea. Um, sometimes if you just play with those dimensions, it can really save you a lot of money on shipping. The Smithy Paul, um, it's a litho, is it litho or litho? I always mix that up. Print, horse and buggy. And this is what it looks like. All right, found three of these at the Goodwill for $9.99 each. Bought all three, have sold two at full price within about a week. Listed by it now with offers. It is an Estee Lauder custom blended cologne, new in box, $220. Wow, that's fantastic. Found this for $1.43 at my Honey Hole Humane Society thrift. Listed in auction and was happy with a final selling price of $105.50. Disney 1950 Evan K. Shaw Rare Bruno Cinderella's Dog. And it says not Pluto in the title. It does kind of look like Pluto. Local Humane Society Thrift had clothing for a dollar. Picked up this beauty and sat on it a while because I wasn't sure where to price it. Sold pretty fast once I stopped procrastinating. It's a handmade, hand-knit cardigan sweater, fish, beach, blue shells, tropical women's. Sold for $79 um, plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was part three. Part one and two were just as good. So definitely go check those out. You don't want to miss these big money bolos, unexpected bolos, items that we as resellers need to be looking for. These videos are just as educational for me as they are you. I love doing these. Let me know in the comments how you found the channel. Leave me an emoji of an owl. And somebody said, do you mean like owl, like I hurt myself or like owl? Um, I, I realized then that I do not put the owl or the L on the end of owl <laughs> and I say owl. So I apologize, owl with an L. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for being here. There's going to be some, ah, these are jeans and I'm getting caught up in them. There is going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video down here. I would love for you to check out another video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And I do have two other channels. Those are linked down below also. Thanks for watching.